Welcome back to the 17th video about my electronic uh, steering wheel slash rudder truck IP68. In the previous video we did all the lathe work on my shaft cut here, link in the description. And today we just have to do two more features on that shaft on the mill to hopefully finish it. Enjoy! The features I'm talking about is a big hole here for a stop bolt to slide in and this should be 8 millimeter in diameter and uh, to the tip of the drill 22 millimeters deep. The other feature is a cut out here for a key, so basically a key slot that has a total length of 25 millimeters without the radius and a plus 2.5 millimeters for the radius here at the end. And it's width should be 5 millimeters. Is that somewhere recorded here on the plan? Ah, obviously not, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's five millimeters wide. <laughs> okay, so uh, one hole here, one slot here. That's it. The exact measurements are not that critical, so I'm just scribing here, uh, yeah, the uh, lengthwise position, two lines here on my piece. One here at eight millimeters, that should be enough. And I'll scribe a second line here at 82.5. So that should give me here the length of uh, 25 plus 2.5 for the radius. Yep. I opted to use two parallels to align my shaft in the wise, nice and square instead of using yeah the notch here that is especially made for round stock because I'm using two thin aluminum sheets here to protect the surfaces of my shaft and if you try yeah <clears throat> to bend that uh, inwards here such an aluminum sheet it's not very precise okay so yeah parallels it is. Now, as always, I have aligned visually here, at least in the Z direction uh, with my little helper here. I made a cut here, link in the description. And yeah, uh -uh. we're here at the end of the Ys. In the Y direction, I want to try something new, especially for round stock. It's not my invention. Uh, we just have here this piece of uh, aluminum profile which I enter here until it's yeah roughly in balance and then I go down here with my tip and yeah you see this is has a light slant here downwards so what we do now is I release here this a little bit. We go a little bit inward. That was probably too much already and go down again. Still a little bit of a slant. And now I continue to do that until we are completely <clears throat> even. Uh, I probably have to measure here a little bit to see what's what because your eyes might fool you, but uh, that's the basic method. Uh, as soon as this is in the same plane as my machine, we should be at the center. Okay, <laughs> improvement to the method. I'm sure uh, I'm not inventing this. This has been done before, but I'm using now a level. And as you might be able to see here, my machine is not completely level. So uh, the bubble just touches the right marker. And that's what we want to see <clears throat> upstairs. That's what it looks like upstairs. And now I can move my y-axis 
until I have exactly uh, the same slant as below. That seems about right. Next order of the day is to create here a little flat spot uh, because drills usually don't like uh, being forced into a rounded surface with a radius. Yeah, that spot is definitely flat now. So the next step would be to use a center drill. Something is very wrong with that center drill. I seems I can't get it in. Looks good. Let's try the other side. There wasn't <laughs> anything wrong with the center drill. Uh, yeah, I just was <clears throat> already at the end of my 70 millimeter pull and that's because I adjusted my head in a height so I can now, if I go all the way up, insert the actual 8 millimeter drill. That would be the next step. I go down and visually uh, line here the depth of my drill. That will be my zero and I need now 11 turns. Each turn is two millimeters to get to my nominal depth of 22 millimeters. Okay, I stopped in between because uh, a, I lost count, sorry, uh, and B, I had to clean out some chips here. This was uh, getting all a little bit sticky. So let's try the last few millimeters. Sorry, had to remove more chips, which are just, yeah, it's aluminum, uh, that are just clinging here to my drill. So, uh, yeah, third try. I think we're uh, one more revolution up there on my micrometer and we should be done. I can't believe it, but uh, I have to get out again. One more millimeter. That's it for that hole. And the depth of the hole is indeed... Let me get really inside here 2175 yeah 218788 uh, which is okay because first of all I haven't cleaned up the edge here and second of all this is end is not really pointy so I cannot get really at the absolute bottom of the hole so perfect next up is the key slot at the other end <sighs> However, uh, I have a little problem, uh, yeah, uh, with my head at that height, I cannot reach down. So I have to move the head and then we have to find the center again. Yeah. Same game as before, so my machine is not completely level. Yeah, the bubble is just, yeah, a little bit beyond the right marker. And we move our y-axis again until we have the same picture here. So, eh, too much, too much, just slightly. Yeah, how about that? 
That looks good. And then I lock the Y axis. Uh, okay. I hope we're <laughs> again on the center. And now we mill the slot. I first go down here very slowly until I'm just touching. Okay, I'm touching. That is my zero now. And now we need to go uh, three, three millimeters down. I do that in several passes. And we're done. Uh, let's get that thing out, uh, clean up first, get that thing out and have a look at it. And here it is in all its beauty. I just took some sandpaper and went over the edges here and here. And yeah, a shaft. And <laughs> we will see when we put everything together uh, how close I was to <clears throat> the uh, measurements, target measurements, and uh, how large my tolerances were. Uh, yeah, there's another feature at the back. One second. Yeah, just the pocket to take up the magnet for my <clears throat> angle sensor. Yeah, but otherwise, nice. Well, there well, are some problems, but no catastrophes. And it looks apart, okay? That's it for today. Uh, four parts finished. Well, uh, <clears throat> I bought the wheel and just put another hole into its center. So let's say uh, uh, three and a half parts finished. The rest should be easy sailing. So the next bigger part we have to make is a back plate to close up the innards here and uh, to mount the electronics with the sensor. Uh, of course, we need a little PCB uh, to take up the sensor and then we need uh, two stop bolts, uh, one obviously going into that prominent hole and the other one going perpendicular into that hole in the main housing. Uh, and of course, uh, we need a key for our <clears throat> key slot. This will be a bit ugly because <clears throat> the key slot here in the hub is not really to specification. Uh, card here, link in the description. Uh, my first uh, inside key slot, it went a little bit awry. But anyway, till next time, Bye.